it's gonna be a little bit annoying go with the snapfire close out an exit so we are actually sticking to a nature's profit one it looks like unless we go a little bit crazy but i, I don't think we're going too wild here lion. oh a lion lion yes we are jonathan out. yes Whoa. we are john we're getting wild lion has made its appearance i think they're specifically targeting tims when i when i was having a quick chat with them so they get the oh chain stunts they certainly do akari's in big trouble and he is dead FBZ draws first blood here on the Doom. Fantastic start. Him last time around, we saw him play that pause one NP. Try to get some connections elsewhere. On the side of Boom, again, still in a pretty happy spot. Mac is doing quite well on mid. Slight advantage over Lewis. Has room control on his side as well and does have the double bracer up. They kill off Shanks. Yeah, they do. Ghost will pick up his first kill of the game here on the Mirana. And there's no response from Exe. They, are, they did manage to pick up the rune here for Lewis, but not able to do much with that. Tino? Danger here, Tino. Gonna be taken down Mac with a with a great rotation, ensuring Ghost does secure a secondary kill now on the Mirana. Doesn't quite pump up enough to really burst someone down. And they are ensuring that the pressure stays on Akari. Farm has slowed down just a bit. Go again, Akari. Big, big danger here as the arrow gonna land from Ghost, finding his third kill of the game already. And now CML trying to get out another kill for Ghost, maybe a third one. In fact, as Shanks will try to run, but the triple kill is out. Oh, Ghost is already 5 0 and 1 here, Jonathan. That is a very scary start for Boom Esports. And but you, you kind of set up for that 10 minute mark where you do get the next siege creep. and. Well, for now, considering how far Eggers of Creation is falling behind, it could be a pretty fast mid tier 1 tower to drop. It could be. Bottom. Next Tino. Oh. He's trying to get aggressive onto Tim's. Oh, the swash. It's going to be enough. Kind of missed half the strikes of the swash buckle, but Tino does get the right click in time. Inside of Exe, you just don't have that same play. Maybe he can start to find an angle if Tino would show up, but still stuck playing bot. Seymour's going to show up in the mid tier 1 tower, but it's not going to be enough just with the Grimstroke. Still, they will try. They will throw the coil out. Kiss is coming in from a mile away, and Mac is dropping pretty low. Overgrowth will come out, though, stopping the rolling thunder of Mac. He's got a bit of space to run out of there. He does make it out. In fact, FBZ now showing up right after the puck. They'll go. And they're going to pick off Lewis. DJ does go down, but it's still a very good trade for Boom Esports as they even find the courier of Shanks. Tier 1 tower gone. Boomo, they basically found... Oh, Tino? He's out of mana. Huh. He's got some wand charges, though. Uh, Tino really playing on the edge here. The X will come out. He'll have to wait for that to be brought back, because now Tims gets the hex off. Tino's still playing. The finger does absolutely nada, but it may not matter as Tino is finally going to go down. <laughs> no finger stack, Jonathan. No finger stack. Again, 3k lead standing for Boom. And, again, for Exe, all of this activity has to come in with Tino. Like, it can't just be Puck alone Ghost. or just the Pango alone. It has to connect. This will be a great pickoff. Ghost does go down. A very, very successful style of gank here from Execration. Oh, the old hit and run, and nobody actually TP down to try and help out from Boom. Did get some vision down down the line, but are trying to sneak around with a smoke once more. No coil to play with here for Exe, but they do have the rolling thunder. Well, they've had a puck. Lewis being caught. Hex is out. That'll be enough to lock him down. Do they have the damage? They do. Ghost lands the arrow for the final bit of damage necessary. They've got Tino. Easy kill. They just doom him up. Again, FBZ's been very good on the doom today. Absolutely zero hesitation. And now he's got the blink up as well as they do, do move top. Akari, he's the target. He'll throw the Nature's Wrath out, but it means nothing. So far, it's a, it's a pretty clean game for Boom Esports. That it is. And again, Execration's not an easy opponent. Even though, maybe it's not showing this game, but... They are a team that has played together for a while outside of swapping maybe with Pause 1. Akari is the latest addition in our post-TI shuffle. Uh, losing a bot. Thanks. But... Oh. 
Yeah, he, yeah, he was trying to go for the, the 14 minute wisdom rune still, but sadly FPC just had the hurricane ability and just dragged him away far enough that he couldn't pick it up. Hard part is though, Boomer ready to go. Like you've, you've got a conquer to clear out the wave so easily. FBZ's in the tree line. Oh, Execration, they are going to smoke up, but DJ breaks the smoke immediately, and this is just not going to be the kill you really want. In fact, FBZ jumps in. He'll find Tino with the doom, and the finger out from Tim's will get the job done. They'll get DJ eventually, but what the hell does it matter? They'll lose Shanks on top. It's going to be another successful engagement for Boom. And you, you don't have clean answers here from Exe. I don't see anyone picking up something like Lincoln's too soon. We'll smoke up though. Soul bind and coil back up. Coil is out onto Ghost. But he'll break the coil immediately and try to find a way out of this. Still the Rolling Thunder is going to land and Ghost is down. A great start already for Execration for this fight. Tino still looking for more, but Boom are looking to retreat. Lewis still chasing down FBZ, but Tim's will hold him back. And now the Doom is back out on the puck. So Lewis is set to fall and does, but they can find a bit more here in, here in Execration. They'll take down Tim's. They'll find Mac as well on the Kunker, but he'll BKB TP away. And he's going to be just fine. But it's still a decent, decent fight here for Execration. And it seems like they'll finally be able to secure this T1 Mintel. Movement coming out from Exa is just clean. And the timing of Boom is just a little bit optimistic once more right like ghost is pushing into tier one bot everyone else is already hugging the triangle while the tower still stands and ghost is just exposed by himself he might be able to make a follow through play onto tino they silence him up but he's got his whole team behind him they're still gonna try and jump in for this overgrowth is out to lock him down but the cookie way is there still here comes ghost to try and help out and he's got enough two more down for execration as they're looking for more shanks on the run Gleipnir is off cooldown in 5 seconds here for Ghost. And it looks like Shanks should eventually just be dying. Though Arrow does not connect with the Gleipnir will. And that may just be enough though. Here comes Lois. A 3 man coil right behind the tier 2 tower. CMO is going to move in and so will Akari. And now the kisses. Ghost is down. The boat is out from Mac but it's all too late. It turns out they got a little bit greedy there as it seems like Mac will also die. Shanks will let him know about it. Oh boy. <laughs> All for a support snap fire. You are getting some decent damage in now from Akari. Full Mjolnir up on the Anitra's Prophet. Not going for the Gleithnir. Not needing that hold, knowing that he's got Lewis and Tino to back him up. So he can fully focus on the right click. Roshan not going to be lasting too long. Boom. I'm, they're getting FBZ in through the gate. There is vision here. He has Doom off. He's going to move in, but does he really want to initiate? The answer is no. In fact, Tim's does end up dying by the Lotus Pool. He was also trying to set up, but well, Ghost was like 6-0 and o at one stage, and, and it just doesn't feel like it's translating as much anymore because he's just dying so fast. Oh? Mid lane. They Tino? are going to find Tino. Doom will be committed, but they can't keep up with the Pango. He's fine. He'll retreat for now as the Kisses do start flying in onto FBZ. They'll go off Akari. He does go down. That's the Aegis gone, but now Tino's Doom is about to wear off, so he can pop that Rolling Thunder as they do kill off Lewis. But what's it going to cost Boom Esports? Tim's will go down. DJ also went down. Onto the Kunker they'll go, but they want Ghost here on the Mirana. They'll leave Mac for now. In fact, FBZ dropping low, but he jumps oh. back in. The buyback out from Tim's. CML will go down. Meanwhile, Ghost will show up. Gleipnir around onto Akari. Akari now trapped between all the side of Boom Esports. Oh. And even Shanks jumps in for the party, but it's not looking too good now for Execration. What? Oh, Lord. They... They overcommit. Maybe a little bit of a misplay as well. Tino got greedy trying to chase out Ghost, ignoring Mac, thinking that Mac could just die off fast. So this smoke has been read quite well by, by Boom. They're very well aware that they're coming. FBZ, he'll jump in on Shanks. They're going to find a support snap by first off, it looks like. Shanks, not dead yet, gets forced off the way, the chase is on oh. though, they even found themselves a CML and now Akari, he'll get doomed up, he'll try for the TP play out with the BKB and he does make it, they'll get Akari out of there but it's still going to cost them three heroes, it's still a very tough team fight, in fact Akari's dying in oh, the fountain, oh no yeah, 
He is oh. still dying in the fountain. That's rough. It makes it hard for Exit to play to their strengths, which, again, does feel like they need to burst down one of these tanky heroes first into the team fight. They take it. FBZ pretty deep, but he will be able to make it up. But now that the Dream Coil will lock down at least Mac. Mac had no BKB for another 10 seconds, but he's a tanky, tanky boy. The run will kick in eventually, so Mac is still perfectly fine as Tino does need to retreat, but the Hex is out. Tims will lock him down, and now the FBZ Doom will fly out onto Tino. And Tino is just as good as gone. This goes to look for more. Shanks will get caught by an arrow. Shanks is gone. It's time for high ground. In fact, Ghost is not done yet. He wants more. CML now taken out. A triple kill for Ghost. The Ghost going a bit too far. Oh, does eventually no. go down. Ghost. Whoopsie daisies. Now Tim's to drop. Ah. Hmm. Get themselves a free shard on Akari. So you've got the scouting potential now with Curse of the Old Groat. Catch out Lewis here for a bit. Lewis. Cookie onto the high ground is going to allow him a way out. There's now Akari. Does TP in very aggressively looking for Tims. FBZ will be there to try and help out as Tims has actually not died yet in the Doom. It does come out, but it was on a Lincoln Sphere target. Lewis did have the Lincolns for that Doom, so this time around it will not work out for FBZ. Is Tino going to lock him down? FBZ kind of being left behind, but it seems like he might just make it out on his own anyway. But not with Akari. Akari does show up, does take him out. But these fights, you kind of need to lock in Lewis and stop Akari from being too comfy. And even just stop Tino from rolling around with all of his items and spells. Doom is out. They've caught CML. Finger will be there, and that's going to be enough from Tix. It's like not going to quite land on Tino, and Shanks does manage to TP out on the high ground. So they do just settle for the CML kill. But Akari could be the one to get caught if he breaks his own smoke here on this creep wave. Tim's. Oh, he's going to find him. Akari, he'll get his BKB off in time. Trying to move in. The Prophet. Trying to find a way out of this one, but it's looking a little bit rough for him, and he is down. They have oh got boy. the big one. They've got time to contest. Kisses will start to fly in. FBZ, though, looking for a target with that Doom, but he got silenced up immediately. Meanwhile, Tina looking to roll in. The Aegis oh. is on the deck right now, but Ghost picks up everything. He'll snatch the Aegis away. Akari in big trouble, trying to fight back, but there's no way in hell he wins this one. Akari's down. And it seems like they want more now. FBZ on the chase will find Lewis. Finger out from Tim's will get the job done. And that'll be another. Shank's gone to boot. They got the Roshan kill with the kisses, but that's about all they got out of that engagement. Again, this NP has no way of regenerating for a prolonged fight. Buybacks are already being forced out. At least one now on Shank's being coming in just to respond from Ghost shoving out. And there is only Ghost showing. Rest of his team hanging behind here from Boom's end. Tier 3 just goes. Rax is not too long for this world. Jump in. CML. Be alright for now. A three man arrow. Ho, ho, ho. We'll connect. You don't see that too often. Ghost. We'll leap away. Mac. We'll run away. Meanwhile, FBZ in the middle of everything, but now a huge earth spike from Tim's. That'll mean Shanks does go down. The arrows start flying out once again. Tino to drop to boot. No buyback available on either. And they're looking for more now. They want the jugular. Lewis will phase shift away. He'll be fine. Scythe the Vice now picked up by our Grimstroke. So CML does have the double hex out with the soul buy. That could be all the difference they need. They are going to jump FBZ. Rollout is there. FBZ, though, with the Wind Waker, is going to be able to walk away. They'll move on to Ghost instead, but Ghost has his BKB up. In fact, he just jumps right in after CML, and CML just is saved by Shanks. He'll make it up just oh. barely. Meanwhile, Akari, though, gets left behind. He'll buy it back. Akari, he had the gold this time. But the Ancient, it's completely exposed. 
explodes. They're tr still trying to move him. Attempts. Huge Earth Spike. Landing on four heroes. Akari's gone again. And that's it. They haven't called it. But now they will. GG is called. And boom Esports. A bit of a back and forth game that they make. That they do. A little bit messy in some of those uh, more overconfident decisions from Boom. But in the end, they do manage to clean up and execration this time. And you can still rush your ags. I, I like this pickup coming out from Boom. I believe we saw one utter bristle back game, and I think that was Talon running it as pause 5. I don't think Boom's going that crazy. Surprisingly, Exit will go into Beastmaster anyhow. So maybe, again, running a Shanks Earth Spirit's a possibility and just give Lewis Sniper mid could be one way to go. But they do go back into a little bit more of their comfort zone. And no, it's actually just Shanks on Sniper and they'll stick to the Lewis Earth Spirit, which has to deal with Max Sand King mid. Even against the Ench, like the Bristol doesn't mind as much as you, as you would as another hero. Back to Kari. Gonna be kind of cautious now because they've got the nasal glue up. FBZ, he wants to try and abuse that level 2 timing. Meanwhile, Tino actually secures first blood at the top lane. So DJ will go down. Somewhat slippery with Burrow Strike on hand, so it's not the easiest thing to hope for. It certainly is. What a lane, oh, excuse me, top lane rather. A bit of, a, bit of an issue going on for Tino, or maybe even Ghost. Cause, or Ghost? What, what was that wave for? Oh. Whoops. Oh, we've all done it. A bit of a misclick here from Ghost, just going the wrong way, and that'll be a, a, another kill the way of Tino. He'll be very happy with that one. Yeah. After a running start already on his off lane, and again, this is a Tino specialty. He was the one guy when they did manage to get on that LAN when the Beastmaster Axe was fresh for the Drums of Slam. Oh. He was ghost. just doing work. Uh... Ghost. Oh, no. What is that? Ghost. He waveformed for the range creep. Oh, oh, reaches your just... start for execration. Next podcast, uh, when I'm really complaining about their salaries, I'll tell you right now. It's DJ. <laughs> <laughs> DJ's in trouble. Nice rotation here from CML, but it may cost him because Mac has joined in. A lot of wisps coming in, but it does not make the difference. CML is down. Mac, though, now without a burrow strike, does have to leave, though. Ghost, not again, Ghost. Oh lord. Oh goodness gracious me, Ghost has died another time, Mac now also in trouble as Shanks just continues to chip away, they'll oh, find lord. another, now Lewis is here! Oh my goodness, and Lewis is oh, chasing on, Ghost, Ghost again? Oh no, <laughs> oh, come no. on Ghost, not again, not like this Ghost, oh can oh. they save him? Roll, ghost, no, oh ghost, my lord. no, <laughs> oh, no. Meanwhile, Epicenter comes out. Tino, he might just deny himself here to Roshan if they're not careful, but they will get him eventually. Is now CML and Shanks in danger. CML surely goes down and does. Is now Shanks should follow, but huh? Max the one dropping huh? a bit too fast or drop huh? a tree, but oh. Shanks has got the vision. DJ trying to chase down this sniper, but Roshan's waiting. Roshan is waiting. Hit him, DJ. Oh, he oh. got him. He got him. It's all right. Jesus, that was disastrous for Boom. Lewis is still finding his timing from that movement out. Already has the urn and is still keen Tino's on bullying out Ghost. Tino's got Roar up. He can go for this. Look at the damage from the balls. The Mac Sanking will move in and try and help out. Lewis is here as well. They really want this Morphling as they'll pop the Magnetize now. Ghost, he's going to cop and assassinate. Not yet. In fact, they're going to drop the Shrapnel Hell. Even Akari shows up now and Ghost is gone. Oh my goodness. I, I am a little bit... <laughs> I am a little bit worried about Boom. We've seen them play from behind before and sometimes it... You know, for, for a roster that's still relatively oh, new, sometimes it again. looks like it can get to them. Oh, please. Lewis no. almost solos oh. Ghost. Tino's gonna show up now. Ghost, get the hell out, man. It's just... This hasn't worked before, surely. Lewis still running. Kicks back. Roll away. Makes it out into the tier 2 tower. The urn. It's gonna be not no, enough. He's down, but Lord, Ghost... Please. Ghost is gone? Oh my goodness. I mean, at least they get a Ooh. two for one. But they've lost their pause one as they missed the hookshot on Tino. Dire 
Might be time for, for FBZ to start transitioning to a carry carry bristle, I think, John. So that that's how badly this game's gone thus far. DJ walks right into Tino. Tino will happily take him on. Meanwhile, he comes back from the backside trying to find some targets, but there's really nobody going down. FBZ is going to show up chasing down Tino, and Tino this time around looks like he will drop. They'll get him. Here we go. They'll run towards FBZ. They don't see him though, so they're going to infiltrate the Dire Triangle where they might find DJ, and this could be a dieback for DJ. Oh, the kick, Lewis! And the hook shot back in from DJ! He's right back into the team fight. Lewis will go down. DJ will die back, but it won't matter. It's still nice and early. Meanwhile, Tim's being chased should drop to boot and does. Two for one trade once again, but at least you do find the mid Earth spirit. Just TP away. Tino? Oh. Tino's been caught. This will be a big pick off if they can get it though. Tino does have the axe up, so he oh. could try to fight through this, and he does. Mac will go down. So Tino at least finds a very good trade. Very interesting. It kind of just goes to show you how badly the game's gone. Or at least for, for Boom, that is, as they are rushing forward now. CML. Gonna be able to survive a little bit longer, but does eventually go down. Lewis dropping quite low himself. Meanwhile, Akari trying to fight the best he can, but he's looking to get pretty darn low oh. here. Akari still trying to fight. Now the Magnetize and the Epicenter still not doing enough. Still Ghost has lost his... No, he has not lost his life. He kills Akari. It's a three for one. A very messy style of engagement, but this time it works out for Boom. Not the quickest process without Kari. And again, the constant rock of players from Kim's will give the info out. Wards are spotting this movement though. Hook is out. Oh, they found a DK. Oh, Akari, he's a big, big boy to go down. And they've got him. Akari is gone. Meanwhile, Roshan, it's still half its HP. It's still pretty healthy. So the pause one DK already losing his life. Now they look for a little bit more. The Burrow Strike is out onto Lewis, who does try to get the Magnetize off in time, but the chase is now on for the Earth Spirit. But Ghost will leave and be instead looking towards CML. And CML does drop. Now that was a very intriguing Roshan attempt because the Rocket Flare vision was there. And they knew it was there. And they didn't have Akari with them. Ward being dropped by DJ while he's juking the tree line allows him to just dodge out any sort of entrances that they could have taken here on XA. And now you've got secondary life on FBZ. He's got the Sanj up, going for Sanj Yasha for some stat res. Big on Roar up. He's trying for Ghost. Oh, Ghost is gone again. The worst part is Ghost was moving on to Tino. But Tino just broke his Lincolns and just went right in. Burrow strike out though, oh, landing Lord. on two from Mac. It's a good start here for Boom Esports as Tino's gone to boot. That's the way they wanted the fight to go. Is FBZ now getting the tips over from Mac? And I think FBZ is literally turning into the carry here for Boom. Oh, he certainly is at this point. It's his power spike. He's got the Ags. He's got his shard. Might not be able to catch more as Shanks will be able to TP. He has Magnetize applied to himself. If he uses one of the rocks from his form, he gets reapplied Magnetize. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it, it's like, why am I hearing Magnetize when he's rolling? Oh, that's how it works. Oh boy. Well, speaking of Magnetize, Lewis will go down. By playing this stupid hero. It's tier 2 bottom tower now. Tino? Well, Tino in trouble again. Does get caught. Roar is out, but it's not really going to save him. I do not believe, though he does have... He has nothing actually. He gets, he gets DJ down, but that's going to be about it. Look at oh, Akari. Can they break the gap? Ghost. Oh, he gets the enchant. It pays off. The impetus Ghost shots. knows what he's doing. Beautiful. Oh. Man. I mean, it, it depends. Do you think uh, Lewis is having fun mechanically with, uh, with Earth Spirit right now? Stepping stone? I think he is. I think Highly he doubt is. it. Back. He's dying. Gonna find him. Speaking of Lewis. Well, you know, you know, like I said, John, stepping stone. I'd say he's having fun. I think Tino is still having the most fun despite dying a couple of times now. Gets to play his Beastmaster. Gets to drag three heroes onto himself just to find that kill on him. In fact, he could 
lineup for death here. Oh, oh that got him. Goes with a bit of revenge here. They love killing off Tino this game. Ghost <laughs> will have his head. Suddenly now, Boom Esports with an 8k advantage. Looking very potent. That it has. Akari? Oh, Danger. Akari? Keep away. Oh. Oh, the battery he assault. Was it assault? Uh, I think it must have been the battery assault. He didn't cancel on his own, surely. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I think the issue is the rest of the team, not so much Tino. And Tino's been playing out of his mind as always on this Beastmaster, but just every other kind of core hero just not doing the best. The moment his hookshot is in, and speaking of core heroes, Akari, he's been caught out once again with the kisses falling right on top of his head. Akari is just dead. No BKB to speak of yet, as now Mac will follow. Going a little bit too deep on the Sand King. Lewis will try to chase them down. But he's got no way out now. Lewis. Oh, the cook, he's gonna land. He is dead. They follow for more now. Ghost rolling right onto Shanks, though he doesn't actually have the damage to kill off Shanks. He'll have to leave. Of course, Execration not to be outdone. They have smoked up his four, rushing right towards the pit. High ground has been held on the uh, the twin gates here by Boom as they do jump in. Finding Tim's first. Tim's will get forced off the way. Meanwhile, Mac getting an epicenter off, but never got the initiation off. Lewis, he'll roll in, but it's too early. Lewis is down. They'll at least find Mac on the Sand King. But Shanks is dropping on the sniper. And Ghost is a bit of a problem now. So they'll chase FBZ, but he's gonna be perfectly fine to just kite them out. Tino's gone. Akari trying to fight on his own, but he is certainly looking pretty dead. A full team wipe for Boom, and they only lose Mac. And he's tanky, but you have seen it. If, that, if there wasn't that pullback from Lewis, he would have been dead. Jump in. Oh, Akari forced the BKB and run. And he'll make it up. There's no BKB left for the high ground defense now for Akari. And they're still going to end up losing CML. So this will be a pretty challenging high ground defense to come here for Execration. Hookshot is out. They found another target and it's going to be Lewis. He is down. Tino to move in. It's a 3v5 scenario. Raw committed, but he roars himself through the Lotus Orb. And Tino, Tino is also down. This Ghost will chase for more now, looking towards Akari, but he's underneath the T4 towers. And he'll give up the H. Tino's having a great time. <laughs> He's enjoying that one, for sure. And he is. As he will go on to the last set of racks here for Boom, securing themselves the Megas and Execration. No buyback in Tino. He bought out two levels on the Dagon for that. Good luck further. GG is called as the side of Boom Esports. After a very rough first series in these qualifiers, does manage to get a good run in the lower bracket so far. Knocking out two teams in process.